guys. Don't judge, I do realize I'm wearing the exact same cardigan as last week, but it's comfortable and feels like pajamas, so I don't care. Yes, as you can see, I am in a totally different location because I am at my parents' house in Canada. Oh, I know, the mystical land of Canada. So a couple of weeks ago, I went to my boyfriend's barbershop choir concert. It's completely acapella. I have been a fan of acapella music for as long as I can remember. There is just something so heavenly, magical, mystical about acapella singing, like just with no instruments. Which of course I guess is ironic because I, I, I play an instrument. After the concert, they did a end of the year rehearsal type thing, looking back on what they've done, talking about what they wanted to do in the new year. I love bringing my stuff to their rehearsals and just working on the side, basically listening to free, amazing music. They do like an after party after rehearsals. We normally don't go because usually, you know, John needs to go to work the next day, but this time he didn't need to. So we thought, hey, let's go because we can stay longer, let the alcohol kind of wear off for a bit before we start driving. It was like a little private thing like at the top of like an apartment. Not only are people drinking, this is a party where they are having sing-offs. It's kind of like pitch perfect but in real life and they're all guys. It's amazing. On one side of the room they'd be singing a tag, then on the other side of the room another group of guys hear them and they try to like one-up them and sing the same thing but like more elaborate and louder and it's just sort of like kept going, kept going. I even got roped into singing with them when they found out I was a musician there was no going back as you can probably tell from my voice I don't have the highest of voices I'm actually a pretty low alto so I actually fit the tenor part really really well John and I kind of suck at making small talk but eventually we got around to talking to this really really nice more elderly gentleman he mentioned that he was in a different choir he mentioned that that choir director is very classically trained holds classical music in like a pedestal like it is the best kind of music it is the only kind of music in a very very small voice he was like yeah and um she doesn't really like barbershop you know she thinks it's like below her that kind of got me thinking because I'm a classical musician I am classically trained I have a master's in flute performance but there I am 100% enjoying it so of course that made me feel like Am I betraying my kind? Am I not a pure classical musician? Why do I not think like my classical peers? Why am I fully enjoying this? Is this a sin? If you are a classical person and you look down on barbershop, please give it a chance. Not only do they have the musicality, but they also have the performance aspect of it. They're always so freaking animated. I just love how they put a very theatrical spin on singing. I mean, you could say it, it's not too far from like opera or oratorios. It's a lot of theater acting combined with singing and so is barbershop. I don't really see why we need to look down on it. The other thing it made me think of was how I fell in love with movie soundtrack music when I was 13, maybe even before that. What really drew me in was The Lord of the Rings. I own all three soundtracks. I have listened to them so much that I basically have them completely memorized. I still know them. However, I kept it a secret. When I was going through music school, it was not seen as a pure classical thing to do. It was seen as being a sellout if you compose soundtrack music, if you even liked listening to it, you are considered a sellout. I talked about it with some of my colleagues who went to school around my time. They agree. I don't think that is the case now. Nowadays, soundtrack music is more accepted in the classical music world. I still ended up figuring out a lot of soundtrack music on my own because I just loved it so much. I actually used it as tone warm-ups. That is just a suggestion for those of you who are looking into how to incorporate your favorite kind of music into your own practicing. You don't actually have to feel like you're wasting time when you're figuring out soundtrack music. I would sit in my practice room and I would just do this all the time.
for those of you who have been sticking around for a really long time, you probably recognize me playing that. I played it in my... Was it like my Jupiter versus Yamaha video? I am surprised that people are still commenting on that. Do you guys realize how old that video is? But anyway, I still love playing that theme. That theme to me is just the most magical theme. It's from Narnia. It's Mr. Tumnus's lullaby and I freaking love it. I love how dark it is. I love how rich it is. It's in my favorite register on the flute. It goes all the way down to the low B. Oh, what I'm really trying to say through this video is that I think it's okay to like whatever music you like. You do you and you just embrace it, okay? I don't think that it's wrong to like other types of music even though you are a classical musician. In fact, I think that as a classical musician with your classical training, you are even more able to more fully appreciate other music because maybe you understand the theory behind it, maybe you hear interesting chords, or you hear something interesting that the composer has done. Actually, ironically, I would say all across the board, all composers for soundtrack music and even a lot for pop music are actually classically trained. We are all just kind of the same. I think we need to stop thinking that if something works really well for one person that it's a sellout. Music is music and I really wish someone told me that when I was younger. I love these chatty videos because I just like to share with you guys my thoughts, my random thoughts about being a musician. I would love it if you guys can comment below and let me know what your musical guilty pleasures are. Now you guys know mine, barbershop music and soundtrack music. So if you guys like this video make sure you give me a big thumbs up and hit subscribe for new videos every Saturday. My last video is over there and if you want to catch me during the week my social media is down there. I'm posting a lot more on Instagram right now because I'm out of town and actually have interesting things to take pictures of. Uh -huh. But other than that, I will see you guys next week. Bye. Are, are you guys leaving right now? Oh, you guys look so good. <laughs> I know. You're I know. 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 I know